This video is sponsored by War Thunder. June 7th, 2014 was a typical day aboard the amphibious assault ship USS Bataan. With normal reconnaissance operations, along with the ship's fleet of McDonnell Douglas AV-8B Harrier IIs. But just as U.S. Marine Corps Captain William Mahoney took off from the deck as usual, he noticed a malfunction in the nose landing gear. Mahoney had to make a tough decision, whether to attempt a risky and dangerous landing or ditch the expensive aircraft into the sea. As captured on several videos from the ship's cameras, the pilot opted to return to the ship and try to land the aircraft vertically without the front landing gear. It was a maneuver he hadn't trained for, and the ship's deck was cleared in case the landing went out of control. There was no time to overthink, and as Mahoney started to come down, the crew could do nothing but hope for the best. As Captain William Mahoney learned firsthand, the margin for error for aircraft carrier takeoffs and landings is nearly zero. Now you can challenge your own aviation and navigation skills by taking command of over 2,000 highly detailed planes, tanks, helicopters, and warships in War Thunder, the online military vehicle combat game every military buff is talking about. Click the link in the description below to experience your favorite modern warfare combat vehicles in incredible detail. Each one is modeled down to their individual components and displayed in realistic graphics and glorious 4K resolution that guarantees total gameplay immersion. And forget about the conventional health bar to display damage. In War Thunder, you'll be able to see every dent and detonation mark on enemy vehicles as you damage them. Wage war across platforms. Click on the link below to play for free on PC, Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 5, and even on previous gen consoles. Here at Dark Footage, we love War Thunder's in-depth customization system that lets us apply hundreds of camouflage patterns, faction markings, and decorations so we can fly in style, even in the most intense PvP battles. Take advantage of War Thunder's exclusive reward to our viewers by clicking the link below to register as a new player and get a premium tank, aircraft, warship, and a seven-day account upgrade. We'll see you in War Thunder. Choices. In 2014, USS Bataan and her Harriers participated in the air campaign against the Islamic State in Iraq and Syria, conducting reconnaissance missions and at least one airstrike. It was the first time Marine Corps ordnance was used against an ISIS-controlled target. However, something went wrong on June 7th. U.S. Marine Corps Captain William Mahoney remembered it was a typical flight day at sea. Quote, there was nothing crazy about it. As he took off from the deck and put the gear up, he realized there was a landing gear malfunction. Mahoney then slowed down to prevent overspeeding the landing gear, and given that the Harrier is a single-piloted aircraft, he asked for help from the ship's crew. After approaching 300 feet, he got confirmation that his front landing gear did not come down so he would have to get the jet safely on the deck without it. Guided by the control tower, Mahoney then learned that the ship boasted a crash cradle, essentially a stool created for such an emergency and built to the nose's height. As seen in footage taken that day, the pilot then stepped the Harrier down slowly up to 20 feet to ensure he was aligned and could put the nose on the stool. On coming in and focusing on landing, Mahoney noticed he couldn't see the cradle. He then thought to himself, quote, Oh boy, this is going to be interesting. A Harrier Carrier The WASP-class amphibious assault ship USS Bataan was built in the early 1990s and named after the World War II battle in the Philippines. She was among the first ships to respond after the September 11th attack in 2001 when she was deployed to the coast of Pakistan with the objective to enter Afghanistan at the onset of Operation Enduring Freedom. The ship continued her service in the global war on terrorism until 2003, when she was deployed to the Iraq War and designated a Harrier Carrier. During the operation, the multi-purpose Bataan 
which usually carried a mixture of helicopters and Harrier VSTOL jets, was tasked with primary support duties regarding the AV-8B. In her prominent role as a strike force for freedom, Captain E.S. Yeager explained, quote, We are here to support our Marines on the ground. Being a Harrier carrier is in direct support of their safety by providing vital air support to the troops. The commanding officer added that it was the second time a large deck amphibious ship was designated a Harrier carrier. However, it was also the first because of the amount of jets and the increased number of strikes launched. Marine Major Michael Manzer Jr. expressed about the crucial mission, quote, Before, our job was to get the Marines ashore for the fight, and now our job is to bring the support, close air support, to the Marines on the ground in the fight. In their first deployment, the role of Bataan's crew was merely to offload Marines, but they got a more significant one a few years later, launching and recovering Harriers on a daily basis. Lieutenant Larry Young said, quote, this is the first time a ship of this class has carried so many Harriers, and it's been a real challenge for the flight deck crew. Everything happened so quickly on the flight deck, and the number of sorties that we're putting out in one day are just phenomenal. I've never seen so many people work so hard on a flight deck before. However, sometimes things don't go as planned. Best of both worlds. The single-engined AV-8B Harrier II was designed and built by McDonnell Douglas as a ground attack aircraft capable of vertical and short takeoff and landing. It's the second generation of the Harrier jump jet family. The aircraft's development began in the early 1970s as a cooperative effort between the United States and the United Kingdom, and the project aimed to address the operational inadequacies of the type's first model, the Hawker Siddeley Harrier. To drastically improve the Harrier's capabilities, early efforts focused on a more powerful Pegasus engine. However, the UK opted out of the development due to budgetary constraints in 1975, and McDonnell Douglas proceeded to redesign the first model, known as AV-8A. The next iteration, the AV-8B, kept the general layout, but incorporated a new, larger composite wing, an elevated cockpit, and a refurbished fuselage in addition to several structural and aerodynamic refinements. This enhanced Harrier flew for the first time in 1981 and entered service with the U.S. Marine Corps four years later, where it was mainly used on light attack or multi-role missions, including close air support of ground troops and armed reconnaissance. In the 1990s, the company merged with Boeing and BAE systems, which supported the program from then on. The aircraft is usually operated from small aircraft carriers, large amphibious assault ships, and simple forward operating bases. And making the most of their VSTOL capabilities, AV-8Bs have supported many military and humanitarian operations, such as the Gulf War and the interventions in Afghanistan and Libya. Throughout 22 years, 340 examples were produced until the program ended in 2003. But for all its potential and versatility, the Harrier has shown a surprisingly high accident rate. In fact, the percentage of time spent in critical takeoff and landing phases has proven a significant challenge for pilots. The incident on June 7, 2014, was one such occasion. No Drill The AV-8B is the only short takeoff vertical landing jet aircraft in U.S. military inventory, and therefore, a key component of the Marine Corps' all STOVL force concept. Since the 1960s, the Harrier has undergone a series of improvements that have made it a safer aircraft. With 22,000 pounds of thrust, the aircraft can hover like a helicopter and immediately blast forward like a jet at near supersonic speeds. As such, its capabilities enabled Mahoney to bring the 30,000-pound craft down to USS Bataan's deck. As can be seen in the videos, the Harrier's nose came down forcefully on the cradle and bounced several times before halting. It was a dire and risky situation, but the level-minded pilot did not notice until he landed safely, with only a minor bounce on the stool. He later recalled, quote, I remember feeling it just hit, and that's it. 
but then I had to sit there for a minute and remember how to turn the jet off and shut everything off. The empty deck was then filled with cheering crew members congratulating the pilot for his stunt. Following the ship's lighting system helped Mahoney land on the right spot. But as he expressed, quote, We pride ourselves on landing on the ship perfectly like this, in the same spot, every time, and doing the same thing over and over again. But there's no way to train to land in this kind of situation. Afterward, the captain received the air medal from Colonel William Dunn, who praised Mahoney by saying, quote, In the world of ejection seat aircraft, it is not always the first choice to bring the airplane back after something like this and risk the pilot, but this was incredible. Thank you for watching our video, and thanks to War Thunder for sponsoring it and extending an exclusive gift to our audience. Click on the link in the description below to claim your in-game rewards. New players receive a premium tank, aircraft, warship, and a 7-day account upgrade.